Hi, I'm Jason. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up the warm up settings in your VEMS ECU using closed loop feedback from the integrated Y band controller. It's very simple. Let's get to it. So, first of all, you turn the car on, have it connected, and you'll see it's connected now. The voltage is changing a little bit. Uh, you'll notice the pulse width is whatever it's set to for your. Uh, manifold pressure in the VE table but we want to wait until the O2 sensor warms up and we'll have it here under wideband settings wideband O2 started on power up enabled you can disable that after you get it running right but for the first initial tuning or the you know the first you know, month or so that you're tuning your car. This is really handy, especially for a startup. So have that enabled and you'll see that the pulse width just moved to 226, 227. So that means there's it's measuring 22.6% O2 in the free air. But at least you know the sensor's warmed up. And in this instance, since the sensor's warmed up, we can actually go to starting menu, warm up enrichment. We can go here and we'll watch the lambda here in this bar graph and we'll adjust these as needed. The X is exactly where you are on the map. So you can click on the squares to see where they are over here. So this square is 150% enrich enrichment. This square is 141% enrichment. And you go down to 120, 110, 106, and finally no enrichment. So since the X is right there, that's where our coolant temperature is. Um, we'll choose the square right below it, or to the right of it, um, and start the car. And we'll see what the lambda looks like. We may increase it or decrease it depending on where the, the lambda's sitting at. down a little bit. You have to hit enter after you enter new value. So you type in the value, hit enter, and it'll change. Burn the values when you're satisfied with them. And we can go up here to view group. I believe it is calc model. No, injector calibration is a really good one. And over here you can see all your warm up and after start enrichments. So you can see exactly what it's doing. See right here, it's adding 133% or 33% extra fuel, and then it's reducing it a little bit because of the RPM, and it's reducing it even further because of the manifold pressure. But really, what you want to do is just look at what final values are getting you a good idle. This isn't too bad right now, it's idling stable at 700 with no idle valve. Lambda's 
0.85 to probably reduce the uh, enrichment there. Starting tab. So as long as it's a little bit on the rich side of 1.0, uh, you're pretty good to go. It's going to take more fuel to get a lambda of 1 because it doesn't atomize as well when the engine's cold. But as you can see now, the engine's warming up pretty good. We're at 43 degrees Celsius. So. That's where fuel starts atomizing pretty well, so you need less enrichment. Although it might still be a little bit lean here, because it's bouncing over 1. 106, we'll try 108. Yeah, that's a little better. Point nine five, point nine seven lambda is usually a pretty good uh, area to go for. Like, like I said, richer will idle smoother, so... You know, anywhere over 0.9, um, although closer to 1 is better for your uh, fuel consumption. But this looks pretty good. That's essentially how you do it. Every engine is going to be a little different and how it acts in the cold weather. So this curve might even be different depending on you know, one engine to the next being the same engine family. You can uh, try to smooth this out a little bit. You know, you could always just play with that depending on uh, how things work out for you. A nice smooth curve like this is usually what's going to appear after a while. And, uh, yeah, should work pretty good. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, anything needs to be cleared up a little bit. Uh, and definitely subscribe to our channel. we will have more tutorials like this as we get time and um, get questions coming in. And we'll just make tutorials for them. Thank you very much.